Hello guys and welcome to another UK Card Club card review video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Bicycle Grid 2.0 playing cards. Now I'm fortunate enough to have both of these and I also have them again sealed but I'm also fortunate enough to have an open one so I don't have to open these to review them. Let's have a look. So you've got Bicycle Grid 2.0 limited edition there and you've got this like circuit board and almost tribal looks a mixture between sort of Tron looks a bit like it looks a little bit like Tron very cool very nice i love the black into red and fading back out to black as it goes in very simple and minimalist with the with the color in they here by 4pm designs magic finish uv ink we'll get to that so look at the back design there we'll look further when we get inside united states playing card company designed developed and copyright by 4pm designs manufactured by united states playing card company etc so this design continues up the tuck it's got a white seal and it continues up onto the flap here bicycle copyright information and then an idea of what the four symbols are going to look like. So I've used these, I've been mucking about with them. So they're not in new deck order, which is a bit of a pain because I'm trying to show you the Ace of Spades. There we have it. So this is a fully customized deck, as you can see from the circuitry and the sort of sharp tribal here. Original, original typeface. The font's very nice. The indices are very cool. Very futuristic. Very sort of, kind of mixed, reminds me of a mixture between the wheelies from Return to Oz and a little bit like that club slash race that Robin steals the Batmobile to go and uh, to go and do in the Batman and Robin film. This is very much reminds me of like 90s depictions of the future, which is really cool. They've all got weird makeup on and everything's sort of tribal and futuristic. Ace of Clubs, which is a bit hard to see that it's a club. Looks almost like a spade. Heart, very cool. They are just beautiful. Oh, I like that. With the standard cards here, you've got very much a standard pip arrangement, obviously with the uh, custom look to them. You can really tell these apart a lot better than you can with the aces. They're just so beautiful, so futuristic, so nice. But what I really like, and this is gonna be quite hard for me to show you this, and I'm gonna take a couple of cards, just stick them here so you can see a bit better, and turn the light off, and the magic begins. So look at that. This is just a, a little UV light that you can see here. All that wonderful hidden design work there. So really hard to see uh, in this kind of daylight. Might get a couple of shots of them at night. All that hidden artwork, it's just phenomenal. So good. Now I don't know how much extra it costs for this type of ink, but I can't imagine it's cheap. It's just amazing. And you know, you cannot see it. You cannot see it at all until this uh, until there's a uv light on it just simply it's just incredible so this is a joker here double backer that's included blank card that's included the hidden reveal there king of clubs you can see that design work hidden behind that there look just so cool and the back design here very futuristic very very much like a circuit board looks a bit like a graph modern graphics card yeah there's there's not really a lot to say about it i'll leave it there for people to be able to have a look at and admire there's no real de reactive design on the back to be honest it's a bit of a shame because imagine if all that white lit up here would look phenomenal. Looks very cool. Very small borders which make it look really nice when you fan. I just love it. It's probably one of my favourite decks. And I'm lucky enough to have half a brick of them. Yeah, I don't know. It's just something about the about these the amount of effort that's gone into them. The amount of detail. The futuristic look of them. I love reading books about dystopian futures and how the world may end up. So it's just... Uh, I don't know. They really fit into that theme. I can see it. I could see this being a deck they could have used in the film Ready Player One. Maybe in Tron if there was any scenes involved. Obviously a deck of cards. But yeah, I love them. I think they're great. And I hope you guys do too. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you next time when we'll be reviewing something else. Take care.